Hi, and welcome to TV is My Pacifier. I am going to show you a bit of the process I go through to compile and write up the weekly TV schedule every Saturday. Um, first up, I'm going to clean up the previous week's schedule in my file. Now, this is from a couple of weeks ago because um, this the previous week was Christmas, so I didn't actually use this, um, but it should give you the general idea. First up, I, I actually go through and bold this because I know I need to edit it, um, so that way I don't forget later. Um, I also uh, already deleted the information that was here and here, and that's just the write-up for the series and um, write-up for the specials. Um, so then I delete the season finales. I have to go through and change the series premieres, um, take out the links, and I delete the specials and the sports, even though most of the time, uh, so for example, I know that there should be a new Anne Rice's interview, um, football, so generally I'll, I'll leave those. And then I take this, and and I always bold, let's see, 19 and 90, so 19 would go first. Um, and then I bold these so that it makes it easier when I go through and choose, um, you know, I can unbold to show that I've done them before. Uh, let's see, there is a winter finale, so that's not going to be on anymore. Then I go through the next day, and you'll see here on Monday what I had already taken out on Sunday. So this season premiere was complete, so I don't need to keep it in. But there might be a new Monday Night Football. I don't know because of the holiday. But we'll leave it in just in case. And obviously, because of the upcoming holiday when I did this one, there's not nearly as many shows on each night. So you'll see it's a very short list for Monday. Sundays and Thursdays are always the biggest lists during a normal season, normal time of the season. Oop, that's complete. And I'm lucky because I have Teresa who helps me with the schedule, and she does Sunday and Thursday, so that frees me up, and Saturday, so that frees me up to do the rest of the week and then compile them all at the end. And even then, it still takes us hours. Oop, this Saturday, because of uh, Christmas Eve, was very, very small. 
All right, so once I do that, then I save it just to make sure that I don't lose any of the work I did. And then I go to my browser, and this is the spreadsheet we used. Since Teresa has done the work on Sunday, I can show you. So I'll go over to Monday, and I use the Futon Critic and zap to it. And I need to look at Bravo TV. Bravo, I have to look up there or watch what happens because my sources aren't always correct. So we're going on this week. Oh, it is new on Tuesdays. On Tuesday at 10. So I would click over here. Oops, how did that get? Uh, Tuesday, and that is new at 10, and Wednesday at 10, and Thursday, which she might have already selected. She tends to look at that. Yep, Teresa got it. So, all right, so I'm done with that. So I'll go back to Monday. And I always bold my list so that I know that I've checked it and marked it if I need to. And then I go so I will choose the correct day, which is the second. Okay. I put that in the middle. So I will start at three, the shows that start at three o'clock or later. And I will just start compiling it. So baking it. Uh -huh. When did it start? Oh, it was way back in. 1212 as a special. Okay, so yeah, that's why I don't have it on there. So I will come over here. And I will check it. Love Island, Australia. Okay, so then we have a finale, which So, since that's not on the list, Trolley is not, I think it's a kid's show, or, oh no, it's Korean or something. So we don't need those. Okay, so that is something to add. That's a special. And there's need, no explanation needed for that, so I don't need to write up what it is. Don't worry, college football, nor H NHL. Uh, all right, so 
Oh, good. Here's a series premiere. So that's on NBC. So I have that all set and then I have to get the link. done and so now I need to go back and add it up here be above there those are probably going to be two hours each week I'll go ahead and add that there and I don't check it here because it's already on the list down below I can go on no
And there's the WWE. All right, so Monday Night Football is not in this list. It's just here. So rather than do here, this is the list we compiled earlier. So Monday Night Football. And let's see. Let's go back here. And that is, and it's the same time, regardless of what this site says. So it's the Bills. Uh, excuse me, I don't know football well enough to remember. Buffalo Bills at Cincinnati. Okay. Buffalo Bills at Cincinnati. That doesn't look right, but I think it is. And then I would unbolt it so I know that I've checked it and it is correct and should be on there. So, unbolt, ridiculous. All right, so I don't think Ancient Aliens is. Uh, let's check. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just a continuation of episodes, so we don't count those.
So I wasn't sure because of the way they have this, what the actual title was. I couldn't remember from previous seasons. So I go over to check and it is just Surviving R. Kelly. The final chapter is part of the actual. Oh, I don't have to add it to the list though, because if you'll see, there are only four episodes. So it's just two nights, tonight and tomorrow, or Monday night and Tuesday night. So, adding it to the actual list wouldn't make sense. regularly gets the House Hunters series wrong. So, not always, but like over here. Okay, so it is on a 10-9. Then I have to go over here and check the late night shows. So, okay, so there, there, and there. None of those are on new. So, Jimmy Kimmel, no. Late night, no. Oops. And there's a nice show. Did I mark those as on? Yes, I did. That is not correct. Okay. Gotta go over to Tuesday to get the late Monday shows, which is only the one you'll see here. The only show starting before 3 o'clock in the morning is Welcome to Chippendale's season finale. Quick explanation, 
I've said this before, but I'll go ahead and say it here. The reason I include shows like this that air at 12.01 a.m. on the next day is because there are four time zones in the U.S. For the 12.01 a.m., that is one of the four time zones. Everyone else in the country, so approximately three quarters of the country, it airs at 11.01 p.m. or earlier on Monday night. The same reason for the shows like Midsummer Murders. Yes, this airs at 3.01 a.m. on early in the morning. But for everybody in the country, or almost everyone, for three quarters of the country, it airs on Monday, not overnight on Sunday, which is why it airs, or which is why I schedule it here on Monday. Okay, so now I need to go through and figure out if these shows that I didn't take off the list are still airing or if they've finished their season. Most of these are still going to be airing. They're just still off for the holidays. But I like to check. Okay, so see that's that's finished. So I can take it off the list right now. And so on. You'll notice since these two are coming back later this month, or later in January, I leave them on this list. They're not done for the season. I just unfold them so I know I've done them, and I don't mark them because they aren't new this week. A lot of these ended last week, and like I said, I didn't use this this part of the schedule. I just used this. So they aren't on this list, but I didn't take them off this one yet. Which is why I'm having to do this now. Usually there aren't this many that I have to check.
Okay, so this one isn't back until March 6th. That's a long time for me to have this on the schedule and have to remember that I don't need to check it. So I can just take it off and then when it comes back on, I will re-add it. All right, so that takes care of cleaning up this part of the list. So now I have to get these in order. And, and I'll show you, since I'm only doing one, one day for this video, say 911 was on and new, but it was the season finale. So I would do this while I'm working on the schedule. 911. Oh, it's and move it down and then I would go over here and I would I'm not going to do it now but I would delete that row so the show is gone and then at the end any others I had collected over here in this column then I would take them I just deleted this because I don't need it but then I would go down and I would add it to this so that I had it had all of them here there weren't any on this day that were like that so I didn't have to do it So there's the order that they'll go on the actual list. So that's when I go over here to Sunday. Or no, to Monday, sorry. There are going to be one series premiere, three season premiere, and three season finales. So on my list over here, one series premiere, three season premieres, and three season finales. So then I copy this list, paste them into here. And of course I've got to move which the Monday Night Football up to the correct spot right there. So now those are there in the list. So I can delete those. Then I go here, and here is the write-up for the series premiere. So I copy that over, and then the same thing for the special. And now I'm ready to go back up here. So this is the easiest way I have found to do this. And then I just go through and compare. All right, so... Baking it was new, is new, but ahead of that is bake it till you make it.
unbold that next week it might be the same and I'll just bold it again so then I check and I've gotten everything off that and onto here so Monday is complete so then I would move on to Tuesday normally I do all the days in here first before I move down and complete this schedule this is what I then copy into the site to post. I won't do that now. I just wanted to show you one day of each. What I will show you is that to do Teresa's on Sunday, Thursday, and Saturday, then I, I do almost the same exact thing, transferring, but she usually just leaves the premieres in the list like this. So I do, like I showed you, I would do it for finales normally. And I would go through and add them like this so that I have the link, the coded link already to go. Or the coded part. So I can delete that and uncheck this since it will be over in the list, down in the list already. Same thing for that. I'm not sure if that'll be two episodes each week. I'll leave it like that, and the next week that can be changed if needed. Oh, and it's on NGC. So let's go look. So this is what I do if I'm not sure about something and I want to decide now. So magic of... So I'll go over here and look. Oh, okay. All right, so... Premieres on both. But then it looks like it will only continue on NGC. So I can go uh, and then once at, oh, 10, 9 central. So what I'll do is go back over here and change it in the list so that next next week, it's correct in there already. I'm just going to, okay, so Secrets of the Zoo. I love this show. All right, so, oh, it's just this week, and then it's going to continue on Nat Geo Wild at 10. So, let me... Take that off the list of, of new since it'll be over in the schedule already. All right, same thing here. Oh, that's why it wasn't on the list for Monday. But now I want to go look because will that be on every day or is it just on Sunday? All right, so. And technically, you see, that isn't the. Season premiere. So let's go over here to check 
Yeah, see, they don't count as the season premiere either, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to count it as a new episode. No matter what... See, Zap to it is... I mean, the Futron Critic is wrong so much of the time. I kind of dislike using it, but it has so much more info uh, because it has the streaming shows, um, which I like to include because streaming is so popular now. Um, and it's it's easier to, to look at than trying to pick apart stuff here because you can usually see what's new and what's not and what's premiering and finales, but not always because, like, when you get down here, they just can't show that. So if this were new, you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see the new because there's just no room. So we have all of these. There are no finales. This time of year, it's you don't get a lot of finales. Okay, so those I'll add in, in a little bit for now. Okay, so... Manifesto. That is a series. Okay, so she doesn't have a list, you, uh, a link. Usually she'll have a link to the series premieres like, like these. But she didn't put one over here, so... Instead of doing that, I'm going to say three... Sometimes I, I just have to figure out how best to word these. Three episode complete limited series premiere. It's a matter of figuring out what's the best way to state the information needed without putting too much information there to crowd the schedule for you guys. So then I would go down here because she doesn't have a description. So tonight is the three episode complete limited series premiere of, and I just have to,
And then I have to find the description. So let's go over here. Since I still have this open, it may or may not have. Yeah, see, there is no description on there, is there? So they may not have anything either. And this is why, oh good, they do. It is, sometimes it's very hard to write a new series when um, it's on a, a network like Oxygen or Lifetime or ID or something like that because their websites aren't always the greatest and sometimes you just can't find that information online. So thankfully that one does. So then I go back up and I can delete that because we don't need it anymore. All right. So then copy this back down here. And I'll go ahead and get uh and I don't want it. I don't want that link. So there we go. divers uh, and this is again discovery channel's site is horrible horrible for finding information on new shows i'm assuming she went and looked but uh since and i usually trust her i usually don't go look um but to show you this is what i have to do so and what she would have done so it's not on that list so i gotta go down here to all shows and trying to find all shows is a pain because there is no just single list. That's catch up. Well, we don't want to do that. And that's, it just makes no sense. So if they have, and, oh, so let's see. You see, they don't have it on here yet. So my next step would be to, okay, sometimes again, the Futon Critic is off by a lot. So I go up to Zap to it on Sunday and find Discovery. And 
they don't show premiere, but it does show season one, episode one. So we're going to go with that. So that is showing it is new. So I will just assume that it's the series premiere and copy and put it in like I would, like I did the others.
right, so then I would go back up here and like I did over here, there is football night in America at 7 6, and Sunday night football is Pittsburgh Steelers at Baltimore Ravens. Right? Am I right? We'll find out. Yes. Okay. So then I can delete those because I've got them on there already. And go back up. And add all the series. KPS. Ooh, H is going to be first. And then I can copy the rest. And if we had any finales, of course, they would have gone first. But now we have the season premieres. Oh, so, yeah, and I copied those, so... All right, so for the series premiere, she's usually good, pretty good about this. Oops. Um, so House of Gucci, that was complete, complete. That's complete. Okay, so Paul T. Goldman, did she include it? Okay, so that will be on Sunday. So I will need to add it to this list so she can use it going forward. These go by time on the information. So that's the series premieres. So overnight, once you get like the same time, then you go in alphabetical order. So
if I see a time on here like I did just this here that's not on the hour then I double I'll almost if I remember I always double check um, because sometimes they're off sometimes they're not so is clear. So that just gives you a taste of what two days of the schedule is like and that is with Teresa's help on compiling the information, most of the information needed for Sunday's schedule and me just copying it into the file uh, where I will in which I'll use to post to the site. As you can see, it's a lot of work, and these were slow days on a normal schedule, not during the holidays. Um, there are going to be quite a few more shows um, every, you know, each day of the week, uh, especially on Sunday. Um, so this was a quick one compared to what they usually are. Um, as you can see, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, and it's something that I love doing. Um, but when you ask why we can't, you know, we aren't posting one week, such as during the holidays, you could see why I didn't, why I didn't, and I don't want to take time away from visiting family um, to to do the schedule. I when I don't do that, I try to post the highlights um, just so you have an idea. Um, but I have I have posted several times links to the Futon Critic and Zap to it where you can go look if you want more information. Um, I don't have anything available to me that you don't have access to. I simply do the work to compile it so you don't have to, um, and I'm I'm happy to do so. I it's something I enjoy, and especially with the help I get from Teresa, it makes it a little more feasible. Um, but this is again, this was just a 
you know, not quite even two sevenths of what, what we have to do to get the schedule up to you each week. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see more, I can certainly do another video, um, or I can do a, you know, a, a live zoom call. If you guys want to join, um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below in the comments and, you know, about the process, um, about the information I gather. Um, and I, I will certainly answer each and every one of them. Thank you guys and know that I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Happy New Year.